Welcome back to the show, everyone. We always get great reaction when we have our next guest on because she talks about uh, a subject that fascinates people. Absolutely. You've heard of Botox and Restylane and all the rest of it, but uh, what else should you get done and how much and how many treatments? Dr. Francis Jang is joining us now to tell us what is new in the world of dermatology. Francis. How are you? Hi. Very good. good. So what are we nice talking to about today? Happy New Year to you too. Well, a few different things, just a little bits and pieces, but one of the big things I want to touch on is about combination therapy. And what I'm really talking about is that combination of using things like Botox, which has been around now for over a decade, yeah. fillers, things like Juvederm and Restylane, in combination with skincare and, and laser work. Uh, do all these treatments work better in combination? Yeah, I mean, obviously result-wise, but in terms of... You'll get optimum results, and we now really understand that it's not just in the short-term preventative or, or um, corrective. Really, we are trying to stop the clock yeah. and prevent people from maybe even having to contemplate having surgery. And I guess people are starting to do the fillers younger, so the big surgeries that are drastic yeah. later aren't as necessary. Well, because we realize that things like Botox are preventative, we are starting to see more uh, younger people coming into the office. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, the safety record is out there. We've been doing it for a long time. We can actually prevent them from ever developing. Well, and preventative is, is you know, it's an interesting word for people yeah. because moisturizer is preventative yeah. and using the proper moisturizer. Sunscreen. So, I mean, obviously this is an extension and, and it's sort of an acceleration of what we're talking about, Absolutely. but it's really so the it's same beyond, concept. It's beyond skincare molecules, you're right, but it does go down to those things as well. So it's a combination of all that. Okay, okay. let's look at our first photo. We're yeah. looking at a man. Uh, tell us what we're looking at here. So here's a 50-year-old gentleman that first came to me because he had lots of sun damage. He's fair and he's spent quite a bit of time outdoors. And that's the other thing. We're seeing more and more men kind of realizing that they can take uh, some opportunity to get some of the benefits from the things that ladies have been enjoying for the last decade or so. So you can see he has a lot of scattered red marks all over his face. We recognize these as dermatologists as being uh, what we call actinic keratosis or little precancers. Note the dates at the bottom as well, 2009 yeah. so 2012. So this is 2009 and we did a laser resurfacing procedure with him with a, a Fraxel uh, CO2 laser, the so-called uh, repair. And you can see um, that after he's had the treatment in several months, I didn't give you the acute or the short-term uh, follow-up to the laser resurfacing, but you can see even after a couple of years, he looks pretty good, clear. And he got the laser resurfacing done, but he also got fillers as well. And then he then said, yeah, this is good. What else can I do? I'm feeling kind of middle-aged. And well, let's do a little Botox in between your eyebrows and let's give you a little bit more fullness in here because you're starting to look And flat. it's subtle. And we did it in a very restrained way. So he feels fine, he doesn't feel done, and he feels much more healthy and feels better looking and he's much more self-confident. often come to you, and I, I guess that would be changing now, with the idea of a, a long-term plan and not just a, hey, I've got some lines, I want to cover them up, but what am I doing yeah, as I go Yeah, clearly it's about evolution of the aging face. So that's our job to sort of be able to treat people initially and then guide them through the process for as much or as little as they want to do over time. Yeah. And let's go to our female here. She has classic sun damage, rosacea, wrinkling, yes. thin lips. She, I can't believe on the left I, and the yeah. far right. I was going to say, once again, notice the dates down at the bottom. That's an important little part of this whole exercise, 2000 to 2012. Yeah, so she's a great client because she's 35. She's feeling a little bit uh, self-conscious because, of course, she's seeing the sun damage being fair. She's got a little bit of rosacea. And so she comes in initially just to have that dealt with, but over time she realizes that she likes what we do, so she starts doing a little bit of Botox, a little bit of filler. You'll notice her upper lip is very thin, but we've been able to restore it to a more normal looking lip um, over time. And at age 50, you can see she looks fabulous. She still, she doesn't really walk around looking like she's had anything done, but she yeah. looks very healthful. It's interesting because you, you can see that she's aged, but yes. she looks better, but she also looks like yeah, a 50 year old woman. She doesn't she looks, look like. She looks healthy and vibrant. She really yeah. does. Yeah. Okay, let's go to hands because hands age too, and uh, it's okay. amazing. Madonna. Madonna. I want to show you mine. These are your hands in the photo. What okay. did you do? But look at these hands. We can see veins on the yeah. left hand. Okay, hold your hands up again. Okay, here we go. See my, my wonderful 50 plus year old hands. 50 plus for So, all. tendons, veins. I don't have a lot of brown spots, but we see that starting to appear in younger people, yeah. in, in more fair-skinned people. Um, so what we did last Friday was put a little Restylane in here, not a big deal. So there's still a tiny bit puffy. And you can't see but the veins. But you can kind of see, yeah, the veins have disappeared and the, the tendons. We probably have to do a little touch-up here, but if you just look at it, it looks much more youthful. And I want to get Madonna in my office. Yeah, now, her hands are a little... I mean, that's, the, that's sort of the test case when people think about it, because she has, you know, 
obviously had some stuff done and she's done the preventative treatments and everything right. on her face. And sometimes when she does interviews, she goes like that and yeah. she holds her hands up and yeah. it's like that juxtaposition yeah. all of yeah, a sudden. Yeah, there's a little disconnect there and I think really her plastic surgeon or dermatologist needs to talk to her and sort of get on to the <laughs> other areas, huh? Okay, let's yeah. talk about something we keep on reading about, uh, nicknamed the vampire facelift. Right. Uh, Miss explain Nomer? what this is. Well, a little bit, if you look at the photograph, <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of people think of this, uh, that they're going to get the vampire facelift and look like this. And, you know, it's really too bad because I think it has a, a place in what we do. Um, so it's basically taking your own blood uh, and then um, spinning it down. It's just like taking blood in the lab. We put it in a test tube and we spin it down in what we call a centrifuge, which separates off the red blood cells and the plasma which is what the, the clear cl colored fluid that comes out of your okay. knee when you're when, when you're you've got that. a scraper yeah. Uh, yeah and that stuff has growth factors as we've determined that help thicken the skin and heal skin so we then take the plasma and we put it in a syringe and we inject it back into the skin so your own blood yes and does this all happen within one treatment or, yeah. or do you go away a couple of days or? no we just do it right there and it's common for crepey skin, thin So initially, skin. when it was first promoted, it was promoted as a facelift. People were putting it everywhere in hopes of achieving this, you know, beautiful look. Unfortunately, it didn't lift quite as much as we wanted. So really, we haven't found anything to quite replace the, the likes of surgery. Yeah. yeah. Um, however, where we, ha we have found it very helpful is in that crepey thin skin under the eyes, either because you're very fair or thin skinned or postmenopausal skin, we really start to notice that crepiness. And really prior to this, we only had lasers which would do it, but the lasers were kind of, yeah, they thickened the skin, but they were fraught with a lot of recovery time yeah. and months of redness in the skin. Well, this does it. Yes, you get a little bit of bruising, possibly, and a little bit of swelling. But really, within six to eight weeks, you get this nice thickening of the skin. So and we've I got have a before after. Here, and yes. it's a little bit more subtle result. It doesn't fill the area. It actually changes the quality of the skin. Interesting. So there you see a 40-plus-year-old woman who's fair. She's got a little bit of that very fine lining in her skin. And even if she's doing Botox in that area, it won't really resolve that problem. Right. And so here, after the treatment, I think she's seven months, so the PRP, which, so we call it platelet-rich plasma, is a better name for it. You're not calling <laughs> yes, it a vampire facelift? It is, a, it is vampire a better face. name for it. And you can see that the quality of her skin is a little bit thicker. I mean, it's not absolutely gone, but it's certainly better, and I think the um, pictures don't really do it justice, because I think in real life, And the yeah, efficacy of this in terms of timeline? Uh, well, we've not, we're now seeing patients one year, two years out, and they still look very good. Oh, so, interesting. But it will clearly gradually deteriorate, but yeah. what we think we, we're doing is is actually thickening the skin by creating new collagen. So it takes the collagen quite a while to break down. Well, Very thank cool. you, Dr. Jang. Always nice, nice to see you. If you welcome. want to talk to Dr. Jang or get your own consultation, you go to her website or visit SkinWorks. Very nice. We're going to take a break.